Good morning, Memorial. My name is Afrasia. My name is Tess. And this is Spartan News for Monday, February 7th. need a COVID vaccine? There will be a vaccine clinic at Memorial this Wednesday and Wednesday, March 2nd. See Miss Gretchen with questions. Do y'all know what month it is? It is Black History Month! Though Black History should be incorporated through every month of the year, Spartan News will be working especially hard to highlight Black History and Memorial's Black community over the next few weeks. Hi, my name is Kayla from BSU. Each week during February, we will be highlighting a famous Black person who many of us may not know about. This week is Claudette Colvin. Before there was a Rosa, there was a Claudette. Claudette was arrested at the age of 15 for refusing to give up her seat to a white woman on a crowded bus, segregated bus. The bus driver ordered her to get up and she refused, saying it was her, she paid her fare and it was a constitutional right. The reason she wasn't the face of the movement was due to the fact she was pregnant at the time, wasn't considered to have good hair, and was dark skinned. Unfortunately, this is very common. The movement wouldn't have gotten as much attention if Claudette was the face she would have been crucified. Hey Spartans, happy, happy Black History Month. Month. My name is Awa. My name is Sodi. And, and we're, we're here with JMM BSU. We're here to share some ways you can celebrate Black History with us. Support your local and online Black owned businesses, learn about Black heroes and their contributions, purchase, read, share books by Black authors, watch TV shows by Black creators, listen to and share music by Black artists, Watch Black History documentaries, and last but not least, keep up with what we're doing this month. As you can see today was Jays and Shades and Chucks and Pearls, which are the iconic looks former President Barack Obama and Vice President Kamala Harris brought to the White House. February 9th, open mic and karaoke from 12 to 1 in the Fieldhouse. February 16th, Know Your Heritage Trivia and there will be prizes 12 to 1 in the Wolf Study Hall. February 23rd, a showing of the movie American Skin, 12 to 1.30 in the auditorium. February 25th, I am Black Excellence Award Night in the cafeteria from 5 to 6. Lastly, we will have a Stavros Students basketball game, but the date is to be determined. There will be a sign-up sheet put up, so sign up if you're interested. During this month, we will also have a theme every Wednesday. This Wednesday, the theme highlights Black inventors. A lot of your everyday necessities are made by Black people. Get a white shirt and write an invention created by a Black inventor, and on the back, write the Black inventor's name. This Wednesday, we will also have open mic and karaoke in the Fuel House at lunch. See you there, Spartans. All this info can also be found on our Instagram page at jmm underscore bsu, as well as updates throughout the whole month. Happy, Happy Black, Black History, History Month, Spartans. Hi, I'm Christine. And I'm Akanksha. And we are officers of Green Club here to bring you a fundraiser announcement. This week for Valentine's Day on February 9th and 10th, we'll be selling chocolates to raise money for future Green Club projects. You can find us at the entrances of the Welcome Center and the Commons this Wednesday and Thursday selling some good old fair trade chocolate for $5, so bring some cash. As an extra bonus, you'll the first 20 buyers will receive a free card. Whether it's for yourself or your special somebody. You can also be yourself. Don't be shy, come buy some chocolate. Also, while you're at it, consider joining Green Club. We meet every Monday in room 665 Lunch and Flex. Yes, this is a shameless self-promotion. Follow our Instagram at JMM Green Club. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you someone's secret admirer, or do you want to show your friends some love this Valentine's Day? Come to the Welcome Center this Thursday and Friday before, after school, or during lunch to buy an SY Sweetheart for $2. They'll be delivered with love on Valentine's Day. Hope to see you there. Now the question of the week. Hi, my name is Hersali. And I'm Paige. And this week we're asking people to shuffle their playlists. What playlist are you playing? Um, this is the Spotify Beast Mode playlist that I listen to when I work out. Okay, ready? What's the song? It's By Your Side by Rod Wave. <laughs> Got it. This is my winter 2022 playlist. Do sunshine or rain. It's R.O.S. by Mac Miller. <laughs> we love Mac Miller. What playlist are you shuffling? Um, I'm shuffling my R&B playlist. Trip by Chris Brown. Yeah. 
I'm playing my 25 top most played songs. Oh, Rise Against Architects. It says it's playing, but it's not playing. Yes. We can do this in post, right? Sure. All right. <laughs> what playlist are you playing? Party in the USA. We love Miley. I love Miley. What's the song name? Uh, reggaeton. De Bablin. What's the name of the playlist you're playing? Dream Big Kid. It's super cut by Lord. <laughs> we love Lord. This is my playlist to Autumn. It's Wasteland Baby by Hosier. Nerd emoji. And okay. <laughs> oh God. It's a like a teller from Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> okay. Theater kid. It's just a bunch of emojis. It's like a car and an alligator. And so, love is only a feeling by Joey Badass. <laughs> yeah. It's chill. Just a playlist with a bunch of like rap and rap music, pretty much. All right, so we got BB's Kids by Pierre Bourne. In a world full of sauce. What playlist are you playing? My cooking playlist. Never Too Much by Luther Vandross. Take a look at the sports report. Before we get to our sports report, shout out to our boys wrestling team for winning the city championship and to our POMS team for going to state. Congrats. What is up Spartans? For this week's sports report, I'm here with some of the members of the boys swim team. I'm going to be asking them a couple questions and then I'm going to be getting in the pool and giving them a run for their money. So, Zach, who would you say is your biggest rival when it comes to swimming? Um, definitely West. Mm -hmm. How come? Well, they've just been our rival for so many years and, you know, they're pretty good this year. Maybe we'll beat them. I don't know. Yeah. I bet you guys will. Jack, you got any important meets coming up? Yeah, uh, so this weekend we have sectionals over at Middleton, I believe, correct? Yes. So that'll be another good, good meet. And then a uh, week after that, we got state. Yep. So that'll be fun. Be there and support the boys. Now, I know haircuts are a big thing in the swim team. Who would you say got the best cut? I think we gave Nick Zietlow the best cut. Yeah. Yeah. I feel sorry for him. Now, we're gonna race in the 50 free. How do you feel? It's tight. These goggles are small. Uh, a little bit nervous. Uh, sometimes I... Mm, this might be the biggest race of my life. I'm hoping to take the dub over Weston though. Absolutely, we're gonna feel great. We're doing well here today. Thank you guys for letting me in the pool and let us come to your practice for a little bit. I wish you guys luck for the rest of your season. Go Spartans. That's all the news for this week. Stay safe, Spartans. Take your mark. Go. Ha, 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 ha.